Hi everyone, welcome back to the craft room. Um, today I'm going to be making a card that I've made before. I made it about a year ago. It's only had um, 40 odd views, so <laughs> it was back when I probably only had 40 odd subscribers. So a lot of you have not seen it, so I thought I would do that one again, but I'll do it a little bit differently. So I am using the clearly besotted simple script stamp. This uh, Stampers Anonymous Tim Holtz collection Crazy Things and I've got a alphabet and die which is made to surprise chunky uppercase letters and this which I got from the range can't remember the make design objectives it's got written on it and I'm just going to use a little die out of there uh, a little stamp out of there so that is the supplies and what I'm going to do is I'm going to have happy and then I'm going to have these with a little tick box so it will all become clear as we go through So I'm going to pull out a witch's hat. Oh, just on the move. Let me see if he'll lay down again. Lay down, buddy. So a witch's hat, a Santa, flowers. Um, a heart, party hat, so we've got birthday, Mother's Day, Christmas, Valentine's Day, Halloween, so we need Father's Day, and for Father's Day we will have, I think we'll just have a hat, so... do it as a a line of them like that and have the happy lengthways down there. Let me cut the happy and we can see what we like. So we can happy the happy down there. squeeze though isn't it so we might have to go happy along there and yeah I think that's sort of similar to what I did last time but it's being able to fit these on really and fit a sentiment underneath I think we'll go like that. Oops. So we need to get these stamped. So I'm going to do my usual stamping memento and then re stamp, I think. For now, I'll get these coloured and then re-stamped. So let's put that over there. 
Okay, I've got a few pens out. If I need more, I'll pull some more out. So I've got reds, which is bright red and geranium. Browns, which is dark brown and chestnut brown. Greens, which is grass green and yellow green. And purple, which is signal violet and eggplant purple. And that's how I'll pull some more out if I need them. So I'm going to do the Santa hat red, the bow red, the hat band red, no, some flowers red, I think. Or the hat band red, I don't know. I'll decide when I get to it. So the purple is going to be the Halloween hat. hat circles I think and this bit I'll do a brown hat Extends a bit brown. I'm going to do the buckle browns and then a belt around the hat. It's not a belt. And we'll do the hat green. And the chocolate box is going to have to be green as well because I don't want to <clears throat> don't want to pull out any more colours. So be right. there we go. I'm just going to pull out a grey for the hat. This hat. Just to put a bit of. Put it on there and a bit round here. And we'll do a bit of grey on there as well. So 
so quick colouring let me put these away and we'll do a re-stamp so stamp these again in some versifying clay So with this little stamp, we're going to stamp our sentiments. So we want a Christmas one, Father's Day, Mother's Day, Birthday, Halloween. Mother's Day, Mother's Day, Birthday, Halloween, um, Valentine's Day. That's it, I think. And let's start with Valentine's Day. So not quite the way over. So not with that one. So fine for this, we need a little bit of masking. So we're going to mask off the happy. And we're just going to go for the Valentine's Day. So that's the first one done. We want Christmas. Let's go for the memory. Another day. Hopefully, we'll have enough room. So let's. And Father's Day. And then we've got our little square. We might do on a little block. Right, let me get all these stamps tidied up and this ink out of the way before I make a mess of this. So I wonder if we do want this in black. I've lost all of them apart from the H and the P. <laughs> they have as well, look. Lost them all. Oh, 
Oh well. Oh well. Um, so, colour. What colour should we do with them? I quite like the black. We cut them all again in a black again because I've lost them all. And then make some sort of decision. So I think we're going to go with that. I'm going to try and get this straight there with the artboard. I'm going to do a little bit of highlighting on here. My die cutting machine is on its last legs. I desperately need another one. Um, I might sparkle it as well. I need to make a card base. So let me do that while that dries. Let's get this stuck down. I'm going to put some little pearls on there because I've got these out anyway from yesterday. So. Look at a little 
smudgy for smudges there to cover over. So there's today's card. It's not that much different than um, the original one, but I was a bit limited on space and stuff, so I suppose I could have made a bigger card, but I didn't want to. So that's it for this time. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Okay, bye.